Good evening, gang. That's a look live right now at uh, Edinburgh. The Sam Catania weather camera from the market looking towards the Edinburgh Hotel. Clear sky right now and uh, not much of a wind. Temperature today, 41. Uh, I think that's pretty much where we're going to be tomorrow. So right around 40. Records, 74 uh, back in 2000 and just one. They say it's the loneliest number back in uh, 1964. Uh, Is that what that said? <laughs> Man, my eyes are going. But I have the glasses on. <laughs> it's just, you know, anyway. Uh, hey, let's talk about the snow because uh, we have some more on the way. So for the average, we should be around 92.7. Now, we only have about 55.5 uh, recorded for the season, but we're going to add to that number uh, as we go into the weekend and still behind last year's 60 inches. Uh, out the door tomorrow morning, there's going to be a little band of thicker clouds that comes through. But they should clear out for the afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 20s, city, inland areas in the mid-20s with some thicker clouds. By the afternoon, you'll probably need the shades, more bright sun. And like I said, temperatures into the low 40s. So we get a little bump as we get into Friday and then a drop Saturday. Saturday is the day where we're still on track and on course for uh, some snow. But you know what? It's not going to last all that long because look at by Monday, we're back into the upper 40s and we're going to keep going up as we head into next week. Numbers tonight in the 20s at uh, Greenfield, 30 in French Creek, 31 right now, Union City, over to Waterford in Edinburgh, 32 in McCain. Shift the view to the south to Crawford County tonight, 27 Cambridge Springs, 28 in Meadville, Crossingville, you're at 27, 32 in uh, Franklin and into the mid and upper 20s over into Warren County. Uh, all right, let's talk about future casts. So again, a little thick, thicker band of clouds coming in later tonight. They should break up through the day on Thursday. So I think we should have a good deal of sunshine again into the afternoon. Uh, winds will be light and northerly through the course of the day, but that shouldn't stop temperatures from getting into the low 40s. Some cold air does wait, though, uh, to pour in here as we go into Friday night and Saturday. The problem is we've got some moisture from the Gulf. It's going to run into that, pole, uh, that uh, polar air mass, uh, and that's going to ignite a storm system and uh, probably throw some snow back our way. I think it's very likely that we will be dealing with some snow into Saturday. Now, these are preliminary numbers, so we're going to likely have to adjust these, but it looks like three or more inches for the city of Erie, but you go east, that's where the numbers start to really go up. So maybe a half a foot, Wattsburg, Cory, uh, down towards Titusville, and then the bullseye with this storm is going to be well south and east, where we could have over half a foot, maybe even up to a foot of snow. Jet pinpoint for the lake shore on your Thursday. Skies will brighten 39 to 44, area south of I-90, the 79 corridor. Brighter sun for the afternoon, 40 to 45. And for the Chautauqua, Allegheny region, skies will brighten. High temperatures, 37 to 42. Seven-day forecast. So, uh, again, not bad tomorrow. Clouding up Friday. Showers late. Cold, windy, and snowy. Again, it will be uh, enough to move and manage, but nothing like we had, like, say, on Martin Luther King Day. I mean, that storm's saying, hold my beer. 30 and falling through the day on Saturday. So a cold parade, a sunset at 725 Sunday. Don't forget to spring forward Saturday night before bed, 23 hours Sunday. And the good thing about March snow is it doesn't stick around. And it won't as we go into next week. As mentioned, temperatures well into the 40s to mid-50s by mid next week. Your Erie.com. Click on weather. Latest updated forecast can be found there 24-7 under the weather tab. Jen.